So I just wanted to let you know that the that the musical special with Jimmy Webb is now up on the Nightlife website on ABC Radio. So what you can do is just head on to your internet browser and whichever one you choose and you can just pop in there ABC Radio Nightlife or just ABC Nightlife and up it will come. You can look for yesterday's program and you can see music special Jimmy Webb. It's right there and you can listen back to that interview if you would like to or you can recommend it to somebody else. You're listening to Nightlife on ABC Radio with Andrea Ho. ABC Listen. I'm Helen Norville. And I'm Dale Jones. And I'm Lee Sales. And I'm Lisa Miller. And we're so excited about the return of the newsreader on ABC TV. But even more exciting is our new companion podcast to the show. And here we go. Get back. We'll meet the creative eyes behind the show. And of course the stars. We'll also give you some context around the real 80s news events. It's going to be huge. The newsreader podcast. Available now on the ABC Listen app. It's a big, big country, but it's a small, small world. Nightlife with me, Andrea Ho, filling in for Suzanne Hill, who is away this week. Don't worry, she's coming back, uh, but I'll be with you across the weekend. Very good to have your company, and how nice it is to be joined on uh, Big Country, Small World today by Annie Brown. Hello there, Annie. Hi, Andrea. Thanks for having me. How are things in the Golden Murray and the Wodonga Aubrey area today? Oh, they're very good. Uh, we've had a big amount of rain last week, so everyone's very happy at the moment. All the, all the grain growers and all the farmers are pretty mm-hmm. excited. Although some people a bit further down towards like like Ilden and Shepparton, they actually got flooded out. So it's been a bit of a mixed bag with the rain. Uh, Generally, pretty good. Uh, that's good pretty happy. Yeah, actually, it's unusual, isn't it, to say we had just enough rain for the most part. I'm glad some people have. Exactly, yeah. So let's have a look at what's going on in regional areas around Australia. And let's kick off with an issue that's probably um, at the forefront of a few people's minds. They would have seen it in the news. And it's about where we're up to with the bees and the varroa mite. Yeah, so we've spoken a lot about varroa mite um, on Big Country Small World and I thought this was a, an interesting story. There was a lot of predictions that this would happen. Um, so a few weeks ago, uh, authorities decided to move from trying to eradicate varroa mite from Australia down to managing it now. So we're going to learn to live with it, essentially. 